Hi, I'm Stephen Bettles from saltlampsaustralia.com. I've covered this in some of the other videos, but I'll mention it here specifically, is salt lamps, uh, they tend to bleed, or people will ring me up and say, how come my salt lamp is bleeding? It's not actually bleeding. What it is, is the hydroscopic nature of the salt lamps draw the moisture in from the air, and because the salt lamp is turned off, it is the same temperature as room temperature, and the moisture that accumulates on the surface of the lamp through gravity actually begins to fall to the bottom of the lamp and form pools of water. Now this is saline solution and it needs to be cleaned up because it can be corrosive and it can damage the surfaces that they're on. So it's a good idea that if you're gonna leave your salt lamp turned off, you actually need to cover it in a plastic bag and isolate it from the air or the, the moist air surrounding it. This is particularly important in very humid environments, such as far north Queensland, Northern Territory, and Northern Western Australia, because these areas here have a, a very high concentration of moisture in the air, and, they and that moisture has a very high propensity to be drawn to the salt lamp. Now, even in those environments, if you've got a very high wattage globe, like a 15 watt globe in the lamp, and the lamp is warmer, very high humid conditions, you can still get condensation forming at the bottom of the lamp. The way to combat this is to make sure that it's sitting in a bowl, number one. Number two is sit it in a window in direct sunlight. So this will make the lamp a, a more warmer than what the globe can actually do it. But if you get to the point where there is just excessive moisture no matter what you're doing, it's actually better to take the cable out and just to stand the lamp there separately by itself and make sure that there's a bowl underneath it. Um, but in the southern states of Australia, this, this really is not an issue, providing the lamp is left on 24 hours a day, seven days a week.